Welcome back, boys and girls, to another episode of Mama Helly's Fractured Fairy Tales for Grown-Ups. Tonight's episode is another episode about King Redler. Because, you know, we just... We were celebrating his birthday last week with a global holiday. This week, here's where we pick up. King Red was indeed the lord of his realm, but he felt that he was missing something. He had the devotion of the knights Redler, who pillaged and looted for their antichrist. They also spread what Redler's teachings. 1. Thou shalt worship me, and only me. 2. Thou shalt kneel before my icons and vow to always serve me. 3. I am the end of all things. 4. Thou shalt bear my mark as witness to me. You know, 666. Six, six. 4. Those who do not take the mark shall be persecuted to the end of days. 5. Vengeance shall always be mine. I am the judge, jury, and executioner. There is no appeal from my judgment. Oh, sorry. This is number 7. That was 6. There shall be virgin sacrifices brought to me each Saturday at 8 p.m. 8. All wealth shall be given freely to the Antichrist as his due. No questions asked. It is his after all. 9. All must travel to Red Larovia to be counted for the rolls and to worship at the foot of the golden statue of our Lord Redler that stands in Redler Square. Here is where all will receive the 666 mark. And 10. Those who do not receive the mark will be put to death immediately. Yeah, well, you know, he wasn't known for being even-handed. But even with all the adoration he was receiving, Red was not happy. He needed an heir, someone to carry on his teachings. Now, you would think that the Antichrist would be able to get it right the first time, but something went awry. Maybe he was distracted at the pivotal moment, I don't know. But his first offspring was a female child, Bethany Kay, a beautiful, happy child whom Red loved dearly. But a girl can't inherit. I uh, don't know why he didn't change the law. Human weakness? Could it be? Anyway, so Princess BK was followed by Princess Kendall Marie, known as Peanut. Redler was determined to have a son. He was 0-2. Not a good record here, AC. Anyway, on his third attempt, King Red finally got it right, and his concubine, War Machine, presented him with an heir, a son, Grendel Nikolai, affectionately known as Little Beelzebub. Now that Red finally had an heir, he felt it incumbent on himself to increase his legacy. He taxed his villages heavily and ruled with a mighty fist. If one villager did not give over half of all he owned, he ordered entire villages destroyed, so neighbors pressured each other to give it up to save the villages. The villages tired of King Red and were determined to free themselves of his tyrannic rule. But what could they do? The knights Redler enforced the Antichrist's laws. Sir Mish, Red's first knight, was known to have a fondness for too much drink, and Sir Nightshade a fondness for the wenches. He could not resist the temptation to bed every female who caught his fancy, and he fancied them all. And Sir Duncan, a dedicated military type, who also had a weakness for both women and wine. Knowing the weaknesses of the knight's Redler was useless unless a way could be found to use this knowledge against the Antichrist. Meanwhile, Red's legacy grew as his children grew. His ego grew as well. He ordered all citizens to report to Red Larovia via his worldwide global broadcast network, all Redler, all the time. It was a time for a census. All his believers were ordered to pilgrimage to his holy city to worship him and receive his mark. Don't count the Christians out. This fight has just begun. Listen, do you hear? Listen carefully. Refuse the mark of Redler. Refuse the mark of Redler. Follow the teachings of the Bible. I, the prophet Elijah, in the name of God, tell you, refuse the mark of Redler. Redler pondered what to do about this Elijah. Perhaps if he was ignored, he would go away. He certainly was no threat to the Antichrist. So, Red decided he would forget Elijah and ordered his knights Redler to scour the countryside for a new wench. He desired another son. The knights went out on their new crusade. What awaits them in the kingdom? Will the pilgrims come? 
Sweet dreams till next time. Remember, it's only a fairy tale. Good night.